Okay, this lesson is about uh, the types of roofs and the dormers that uh, extend out from them. All right, the most basic type of roof, and most houses have this type of roof, is called a gable roof, where you have two sloping sides, <clears throat> and it's pretty much the prototypical roof that you think of on a house. It's tried and true, tested, you know, whether um, doesn't uh, stick on it, falls on each side, it just works. And then you can have your uh, overhangs on each side and protect the sides of the house on the table ends. Probably the most basic type of roof, um, we'll call, also called a lean-to roof, is the shed roof. And that's where it's just one sloping pitched roof. All right. So it's pretty much like your most basic roof. Probably the first roof ever put on a structure was probably a shed roof. You think like survivalists when they build like their little shelters, it usually just has one sloping uh, roof, and that's what it's that's what it is. All right, we've kind of gone the other way with this style because a lot of modern houses, like three street pictures, have this type of roof. It's not popular um, in the, uh, in general uh, house building because of how choppy it kind of makes the house. First floor is okay, but the second floor you can see here, uh, if there is one, it might be all open. You know, it's really short over here. Right? You can't even stand up, and then you got, you know, area you can stand up here. So it kind of chops up your house a little bit. Um, so that's why it's not all popular. But if you want that modern look, you can get like a shed, shed roof style. All right, especially maybe something like this where you have one shed style here, and then you have a Another pitch there, but it's called a shed style because a lot of sheds are built like this. <clears throat> you can see the basic framing. So what you have pretty much is the one rafter lays on both walls. And you have one wall that's taller than the other wall. And you have a bird's mouth cut into both sides. <clears throat> a lot of additions have a shed style type roof. Um, because you don't have enough room to finish out the gable, all right? So you just have half of a gable, which is a shed style. So it's just kind of an addition. Or it would be over a deck or a patio. This looks like it's going to probably be a deck, I would assume, but not sure. All right, um, getting a little bit more complicated is a hip roof. Hip roofs have slopes on all sides, all right, not just two sides. And it creates a consistent overhang all around the house. Um, it is more expensive to build just because the framing takes more skill, takes more time, and um, there's a lot of custom cuts. But uh, and it's more expensive just because it's more material because now you're covering four sides of a roof. And uh, but it, it does benefit you because it, uh, you can have a wraparound porches like these houses. Um, you have a consistent gutter line that helps as well all right to move water a little bit better so hip roofs definitely add a style a lot of bigger houses like these like this house right here is a little fancier it's just a bunch of hip roofs so you have the main one and you have another hip on either side um so it's almost like pyramid style so just to get a little basics of the framing of a hip roof so you have your basic common rafters here all right, and then you have a ridge. That's the same, but it really changes on the sides here. You have these uh, hip rafters, all right, that extend on the corners, and then from the hip rafters, you have these jack rafters here that are cut the size, all right, as they work their way up the hip rafter. So it's all kind of custom fitting. <clears throat> so you can see all the different types of rafters here. All right, that's a that's a really big hip roof right here. Um, you, know, you can just see how big this framing members are. A um, lot going on there. A lot of framing. A lot of big uh, two by tens. It looks like maybe two by twelves. All right, definitely some skill and some time to make that. And then you have a barn style roof, which is a gambrel roof. And what this leads you to have a lot of space up in the attic here, all right? And farmers want that because they want to maximize the building, and then you can usually store hay up there. It is a style of house as well. So this is like a lot of the East Coast, especially at Northeast, they have these types of houses 
where um, you know you have your regular first floor, and then you know you have your second floor that's part of the Gambrel roof. And what a Gambrel roof really is is two slopes, uh, two pitches of the on your roof system. All right, so you have a pitch here, and then you have a pitch here, and that's how you make that. It's really there to maximize your attic space. Like farmers would put hay up there, but this would really be the second level of a house. Uh, you can there's two ways to frame it. You could do it with a uh, two small walls. And then you have your rafters here, and you have your rafters here, and you kind of do it like that. Um, that would achieve this type of roof. Probably a little bit more popular uh, with current construction is to get something uh, made by a truss manufacturer, and you kind of get this whole tr is complicated truss made. Um, and so you have this big wide opening, you know, 14 foot, um, and that's going to be all wide open. And then the, you have the rest of the webbing around it. So this one actually is a piggyback truss where you have two trusses in one. Because this truss is pretty tall. It's 12 foot tall. That's about as wide as you're going to be able to have it uh, on a truck, which is even uh, pretty impressive. Um, and then you're going to have this one up top. That's why it's two separate measurements. You're going to have this one on top coming separately. So you're going to have to attach that once you get to the job site. So it's really two types, uh, just because of the size of this. But that's how you, a truss like this for a game brow roof would work. This is the uh, truss framed one, not truss rafter framed one. So you have your rafter coming this way, and then you have your rafter coming this way. Uh, the last roof, the most complicated roof, is a mansard roof, which is really just a hip roof and a game brow roof combined. So there's like a completely different type of roof system on the top and then a different one on the sides. Um, this, this one definitely maximizes your uh, attic space. You can see here, this is probably a full um, level here, li living space. And same with here, you know, you have your first floor, second floor, and then this is like a complete floor of living space up here. <clears throat> All right, so you can kind of see the two different roofs. This is just a hip up top, and then this is a gambrel on the on the side. So a lot of older Victorian houses have this type of roof. It's definitely fancy, but uh, it's definitely not a modern look. And this is just an example of how one would be framed. It's definitely not easy. Um, there's a lot going on there, but uh, that's kind of a good representation of how you'd frame it. Um, next moving on are dormers and dormers feature a window that projects vertically from the slope of a roof so it's like these uh, bump outs all right off the slope of the roof that go up vertically and they usually have a window so they can be decorative like you see here so you can just tell by the slope of the roof that this is just a uh, these are just decorations and not really for function in this house they're too small and too widely spaced to do any kind of form or function all right to help try to create a, a third level to this house it's really just decorative this house on the other hand this is a these are huge dormers and it uh creates a second floor uh bedrooms probably for this house and so this is definitely your functional dormers all right and then uh the most basic type is called your gable dormers and they have like two gable slopes on top of the larger uh, sloping roof. And they can be the same type of pitch or they can be a completely different pitch, really up to the design. This is uh, one way how to frame these. You have your wing wall here, which is called a wing wall because the studs are not all the same. They kind of get smaller as you go on. Then you have your frame window. That's just a typical wall framing. And then you have your rafters that sit up top. It's a little bit more difficult making one of these just because of the complication of um, installing uh, <clears throat> uh, on top of a roof. All right, so it's a little just because like your saw and stuff, you don't, you know. Luckily, they kind of set up some staging and everything, but it's just a little more complicated because you're up in the air. Uh, another style is called a shed dormer, 
Uh, shed dormers have a, a shed slope roof, uh, so it's just one slope, and it usually doesn't have the same slope as the larger roof. And most shed dormers create a quite a bit more living space for the um, homeowner. So you can see it's just like one sloping roof here. Um, it's definitely a different slope than the uh, main roof here, and you can see the wing walls on the side framed up a lot like the uh, gable uh, roof. Uh, excuse me, the gable dormers. And you can even be pretty big size here. This is a large uh, shed dormer here, and it pretty much creates a, a big living space up in the second floor of this house. And then you have your hip dormers, which is just a regular dormer like the shed and gable dormer, but it has a hip roof in it. And then there's all the different types of dormers out there, pretty much whatever the architect or engineer can dream up. And um, there's just different types and set up the framer to get it done.